Hey guys, so this week's video, we're gonna take a look at some blackhead combos, the red gene, the ringer gene, that's also associated with blackhead. We're gonna give you some information on it, help you identify it. We get a lot of emails, people asking questions, what it is, if they're supers. We're gonna answer all those questions in this video. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, we're talking blackheads today. And blackheads are a codominant mutation uh, for those of you that don't know. Um, but it's a very dominant mutation. I don't mean dominant in genetics. I mean dominant as in overpowering other genes. It retains a big, solid, bold black pattern that basically dominates a lot of mutations. I would say it's probably one of the top five dominant mutations on the market today. With that being said, every time I you know, run across a gene that's extremely dominant, uh, I always wonder how dominant it is. And uh, I always put it to a gene, uh, another extremely dominant gene like Champagne. And just see how dominant it is when it ranks with the other top five and see exactly what it will do now i was pretty impressed with this guy it's really hard to uh, put anything on a champagne but you can look at that tail and just see how much the blackhead had the effect on the champagne and also the head as well um, i think this is a phenomenal animal that we can do a lot with down the road uh, i was really impressed with, with the um, with the change that it did to the champagne uh, there's still a ton of stuff left to do with blackhead. Uh, we haven't even started really seeing super combos or pod combos. There's another little factor with blackheads and, and that's one thing I wanted to explain to you in this video. Red gene and ringer gene. Uh, now these are two separate genes that seem to be uh, floating around a lot with blackhead and I want to show you some good examples of that today. This is a blackhead Mojave ringer gene and you can see this animal is really impressive uh, just the contrast of coloration is just absolutely amazing on this guy I love the continuous side pattern down the uh, down the side but what that is associated with is ringer gene so what is ringer gene doing to this snake the ringer gene is actually disconnecting the alien heads all the way down the side, which gives you this floating pattern, almost connected to alien heads all the way down. Um, that is what the ringer gene is doing. It's a, it's more of a pattern mutation than anything. So that is the ringer gene. Now, what is the red gene? Now red gene is a little different so this is pastel mojave blackhead red gene and ringer gene so the ringer gene is disconnected the the floating pattern here and the red gene you can see how, how far apart these alien heads are here to where on the ringer gene, they're almost connected all the way down. So the red gene is a color and pattern mutation and pattern being that it reduces the pattern to some degree. I won't say it reduces like a spider or something like that, um, but it does reduce it to some degree. Uh, which spreads these alien heads out and then the ringer gene actually floats the pattern up off the bottom. Now something else that ringer, uh, red gene does is it brings in all this blushing down the back strap. This is not pastel that's doing this, this is the red gene. And uh, to my knowledge, I don't know if there's been a super red gene produced yet or not, but uh, you see it associated a lot with blackhead. Um, this guy here is a male, he's 100% hypo, 
Um, he's actually available on our site. Uh, the red jean and ringer jean just work so well with Blackhead. Um, another thing that's amazing about Blackhead is some of the crazy, crazy unexpected um, mutations that it that it brings in. And it's allelic with spider, meaning that it's not allelic um, like you're getting a super form, like a super stripe. This thing, when you breed blackhead to spider, looks just like a normal blackhead. Uh, I think that is impressive. That's the first time we've ever seen a gene actually disappear when comboed with another gene. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. Some of the blackhead combos and things are absolutely phenomenal. But uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I just wanted to, hopefully that will explain some uh, the confusion with the red gene and ringer gene and we will see you on the next video. Thanks guys.